Oh, well, we this is about to get good. Exactly. Get out of here. Get out! Get out! Take your job, that's her. I do it for my job. This is the one day, man. It's fun here. Yeah, let's go outside. Let me clock out real quick. Yeah, let me clock out real quick. Oh, oh, she got him. Oh, 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 oh. 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 I think she needs some help. Oh, oh. She oh. tased the man. Oh, shit. Don't mess around oh. here. Oh. Oh, she still. My, mommy never robbed Dollar Tree. Yeah, right. <laughs> now there's a lot to unpack in an incident where someone rides the electric lightning or we're taking stuff at the dollar store, but there's equally a lot to unpack with someone tasing somebody at their job at the dollar store. No disrespect to dollar store workers, but it looks like they just make over $10 an hour according to payscale.com. But I do kind of understand why this worker would be doing this in the first place. Just look how quickly the employees at the Los Angeles 7-Eleven ditched their product. <laughs> Compared to what happened to the employee that defended himself at the Vegas smoke shop. Okay. And how quickly it went bad for the store in Houston where the robber rocked him with the bat right off the bat. Okay, maybe right off the bat is poor wording. Let's just say he was hit with the bat with no hesitation. Because hourly workers all across the country are having a really rough time with all this lax law enforcement. Look at this freak out in Walmart. Yeah. And this freak out at a McDonald's. And this separate freak out at a McDonald's where it looks like the employees are getting pepper sprayed. And it's not just US McDonald's at this point. Look at this UK McDonald's getting the same treatment. Or maybe it's just fast food in general because look at this Chick fil A. But then you see this incident at a Little Caesars where the cashier said that breadsticks aren't the only thing hot and ready. But with all these hourly workers going through their roughest of times, at least under the Biden administration, they just discovered today their minimum wage paychecks get to pay off up to $20,000 of student loan debt for college graduates that make up to $250,000 a year. So no wonder you see incidents like this, where a Lululemon security guard in New York City lets thieves casually walk out of the store with over $28,000 of fancy stretch pants. And it's sad because, simply, no one cares anymore, and society simply cannot survive when we side with the takers over the makers. Just look how badly we neutered our law enforcement. Watch these NYPD coppers get berated where the citizens have absolutely zero fear of repercussions. Back the f away from me, bro. Back the f away from me, bro. You getting close to my circle, bro. You lame little 20 year old. And these sheriffs just get heckled on the street on sight. Not from near me. Shut up, this is public sidewalk. Public sidewalk, shut up. Shut up. I can walk down the public sidewalk all I want. Yes? No, you can shut up too. No, you can shut I, I can shut No. Which is sad because it doesn't really look like the person videoing this incident knows exactly what's going on here. But by default, they side with the person the deputies are interacting with. Because I seriously wonder, if the person videoing this incident was being robbed or feared for their life, would they be calling 911 or would they be cheering on the people stopping the police from trying to assist them? But I see scenes like this. and realize how badly society's decayed. Not necessarily because this person's doing something awful, but because we just accept it now. Oh, maybe she's going through some sort of crisis right now, so we can't inconvenience her because she's the real victim, so let's just wait and see if she does something worse. And we just incrementally move the bar as to what we'll accept. Oh, it's just a transient stealing a candy bar, he's just really hungry, to oh, he's just stealing a tip jar from baristas, he probably needs it more, and soon enough it's, well, Lululemon's a multi-billion dollar mega corporation, so we're cool with people taking $28,000 of stuff. Then those same people wonder, hey, why is that dollar store worker tasing that guy? So if you appreciate my concise no BS commentary on current events, hopefully I've earned your subscription and you can help us get to 90,000 ducks. Or possibly you can help share this video or the channel overall, or check out my video on what's really going on with crime in Los Angeles because that's just a preview of what Democrats want for this entire country.